Talk about your red zone. Do you, and, uh, how good you, you bend again, but you withstand. Uh, when it comes to like the red zone defense, like we, like we kind of take it kind of personal because we've been doing pretty good at it. So it's just like a, a personal inner feeling. You feel like you don't want to give them no point. So I mean, it's just a just something that's personal. Any point out there with this offense being as good as it was, so quick as it is, where you're trying to say kind of slow down a little bit? Excuse you know, catch some breath. You, were you tired? Out there? Oh. Was the defense tired out there? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we was tired, but you know, we we. We in the shape because like we practice pace like every day or every week, so we in the shape for it. Like it's just like the matter of, like getting lined up and getting your reads right. So I mean that's the only thing. It's not the point. It's like the like the physical touch of because like we in shape and we like prepare for that. So time of possession wasn't isn't a factor for this. Team. No, no sir. Are you guys surprising yourself at all? Um. Uh, Nine and one and top ten and. Nah, I, I want to say we we surprising ourselves. I say like. We had to want to, like, you know, no team wants to have, wants to, you know, have the kind of season that we had last year. And, you know, uh, I mean, we just came out with a chip on our shoulder. You know, we got a new coaching staff. And, like, I feel like our coach staff is the best coach staff in the world. And, like, they put us in a wonderful position to make plays and win games. Going back back home to huge games, how do you guys handle that in the locker room here these next few days? It started off this game. Like, we need we, we needed to get this game out of the way so we can, you know, go, go back home, you know, with uh, a lot of confidence, and um, you just gotta take it week by week. I'm, I'm not gonna talk about you no know, Alabama. I'm just gonna talk about Georgia. So I mean, the only thing we can do is like prepare for Georgia and take it one game at a time. You guys compare this road performance to the first one you guys had. I mean, the growth from where you guys were at LSU to where you are right now. Uh, man, we believe in each other. You know, we we believe the next the next man gonna do, you know, what he was taught to do, what he's supposed to do. You know, it's them on the little man on the field, and, and like you gotta have confidence in all eleven. And so, I mean, it's just a matter of belief and trusting. And like as a team, like we trust each other, and that's the difference from LSU, you know. And how good does it feel to come in here and get a big win like this in front of 102,000 fans? It, it feels good, cause like, like um, that Tennessee is a good team. Like there's a good team, and like then then ACC, so it wasn't an easy win at all. You know. Uh, we had a great, we started out with a great week of practice and uh, just transferred on the field and we took it how it was.